Mr. Streamer, I have some content. Attaway General? The fuck is this? The team volunteer or TV pro. Get your chat. Reserve in the ER. The ER is usually reserved for third year TVs. Jack. Yeah, what time do we get off? I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. Oh, and if I so much as hear a phone on this floor, it's mine. And do not test me because I really need a new phone. Ha 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 ha! So funny. This is Nurse Sandy. She's the heart of the ER. Make her laugh and bring her chocolates, and you're golden. But if you make her mad, you're gonna have a really rough road at this hospital. Ambulance bay needs hands. Patient Dr. Henry and everyone else. Oh shit, chat. Crash downtown. We're about to be at capacity. Maeve. This is Maeve. She's our top second year. She's gonna finish the tour while I go home. I'll be back when I can. Follow me. Wait, Giga Chad. This is gonna suck. This is gonna be amazing. Oh, the slow walk. Hold on. <laughs> Chat, admit this is fire. One skip, please, Mr. King, sir. I can't bear to watch this bullshit TikTok show again. I have no other content, bro. I was scammed. Correct. So, why did you volunteer to work at a hospital? I got arrested. Beats Juvie. Man, what'd you get arrested for? Stealing V-Bucks? What about you? I just love to help people. For real? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Why do you pull out a Saikuno? Hello? Hey, do you work here? Sure. Not her people are ignoring. Uh, Sorry, but it's really busy right now. There's been a huge accident. I know. I was in it. Oh, that must have been... Yeah. What is this? <laughs> what is this dialogue? Use this instead. Lots of pressure, and soak it in cold water. I'm sorry. Aren't you a little brat? Like, how are they allowing you to do this, dude? What is this show? Like, what the fuck is going on, chat? So, if you don't mind me asking, what did you do to get arrested? In prison, you're never supposed to ask about the crime. Dude, you're like 13. What the fuck are you talking about? Come on, dude. You're the last one. You have to eat. Hey, don't ignore me. Um, hey, Jack. Bro, it's like, it's literally like one piece of cereal and a lucky charm. <laughs> it's actually really good. Let me show you. Mmm, delicious. Get ready for the choo-choo train. Yo, this is actually hard to watch. I'd rather watch cringe comps. I'd rather watch those fucking like uh, life reel videos. This is this is bad. Oh my fucking god, dude. What the? I don't plug his machine. Don't come any closer. I don't think that's gonna hurt anyone. Depends where I put it. What? New TV, aren't you? Nicely done, Sherlock. Now, what are you doing? Do you always sneak up on people when they're sleeping? Actually, I had a reason to be in here. Some of us have work. Am I supposed to congratulate you? If you want to. What? Yo, what? Oh my God. 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 This is hard to watch. I can't find a vein. I need more hands. You, come here. It's our first day. Get over here. Come on. Grab on right below the elbow and squeeze this tight. I'm sorry. There's no way you would trust like a a middle schooler or high schooler, however old this kid is. There's no way you would trust this kid on their first day of volunteering at a hospital do, to do something like this. Like what a way to lose your license and potentially even kill a fucking patient. Good job. Kit. Kit, I'm Dr. Henry. I know. You're amazing. I read your book. It was amazing. And that, that was... People are dying. What happened to you guys? We've had to deal with a demon. We can't leave until he eats, but we've tried everything, everything. I got this. Pick your poison. That one. Excellent choice, and you can have her. But first. 
how have you not tried bribing the kid? Kids literally have zero morals. They will fold to any level of bribery. Yo, could you imagine? Could you imagine starring in this? <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I'd honestly just delete all social media if I starred in this shit. This shit has almost 9 million views. This is fucking crazy. If someone offers you to be in a show, you're saying yes, even if you can't act. I mean, yeah, that's, prob that's probably true. While you guys are patting yourselves on the back, your patients are still in critical condition. Don't ever forget why you're here. But They're literally volunteers. Like, they're literally like all 14. Communitively, they're sub 50 years old. Next time on Attaway General. If we meet again. Must be fate or a small hospital. Chat, do we watch episode two? There's, is that is, is that what we're doing? Oh my God. Busboy, why are you back here? Just waiting to get my stitches removed. Mind if I take a look? Like, you are a volunteer. Like, you don't. Sutures look like they healed nicely. I would have used absorbable sutures myself, but then they. She's like literally 15 or some shit. Like, what? There's just no shot. He said he was sweating and not feeling hot. And in your expert opinion, you decided to just leave him there. That's that's W's. <laughs> One kill, yo. Kit, Georgia, you're on room two. Jack, Rosie, you're on room four. Like, how did this kid go from being arrested and instead of going to juvie, he is in charge of like helping save people's lives? How does that make any fucking amount of sense? I'm so sorry you're hurting. How about an ice pack for that eye? No, I'm good. Can I get you some? He's the bully calling it. Just juice this juice, please. Uh, don't mind him. You're not threatening, dude. You're like fucking uber hype. And you got the biggest bitch voice on planet Earth. Like, you're not threatening no one. I juice, please. He, the corniness is kind of nice. There's yeah, no, that's the brain rot. Davy Jacobs, 5'10, 200 pounds. So, was that your plan to lose it? 200. Start a fight and hope he punches back right in the jaw. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That no, that makes sense. If you hadn't snitched, I'd still be on the lacrosse team. I should have hit you harder. Hey, I told you he was the bully. What is it with you kids? You can't follow the simplest instructions. Snitch on me again, and I will break your jaw a second time. You do that, you have to deal with me. All right, all right, everyone. I can't. I I can't. I can't, dude. I actually can't. Like, how did they get the mo the like l the the least intimidating? like biggest soy bitch to like be the cool like edgy like tough guy if you do that you're gonna have to deal with me excuse me nurse sandy can you tell me what happened to holden no updates kid holden has a severe heart condition that was This bitch broke the law for a Hershey's. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> nah, I know what happened. This was when Mr. Beast made his chocolate bar and she was just trying to get the golden ticket so that way she could compete in Mr. Beast's video. Okay, it makes sense. Oh, yo, genuinely wear his bro's upper lip. Like, on God. The lizard lips going nutty, boys. Doesn't he terrify you, chat? Wait. Who, Megalo? Oh, that's her dad. You know what I fucking hate in shows? This is like my least favorite trope in shows. When you have like the super rich, privileged, like person in the show, right? And then they try to make you feel sympathy for them because their parents are busy working so that way they can still be millionaires. Like, I'm sorry, I don't have any sympathy for you. Like, I'm, I just don't. Like they did that in Degrassi with like Drake's parents. Like he's literally like the richest guy in the entire show. And then he's like, yeah, but like my mom and dad are working. So that way I never have to struggle with anything in my entire life. And it's like, bro, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I just don't. Bro, don't know the lore of Attaway General. Dude, there's just no way. One more episode. Uh, funny there was some way to. 
ah, entice me to watch one more episode. You got five gifted? I don't, I don't recall. Congratulations, you won. Next episode. <sighs> Finally, Jesus Christ. All right, I guess between five gifted and ten dollars. I guess. All right, one more episode and then I'm ending. One, two, three, four, five. What are you doing? Go get help. 11, 12, 13. By the way, real chest compressions break your ribs. So those little like little love taps ain't doing shit. This got to be top three worst TV oh, show I intros. I've seen your report card. There's clearly some studying you could do on a Friday night. I'm sorry, bro. But if you're like this short as a dad, like you just have zero control over your children. Like Uber, I'm sorry, man. Your kids are not going to respect you. She can't even keep her eyes closed for the scene, L. I know it's not an ocean view, but it beats the ICU. That was bars. Thanks for the tip. Wow, she thought she did something. Are you okay? Didn't you hey, look at this little bitch. She's crying. A doctor? I'm fine. Sorry. Just need a moment to be upset, okay? I get that. Oh, having a hole in your heart's pretty relatable, huh? Nope. But I know what it's like to pretend to be okay when you're really not. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! <sighs> I'll make it through, chat. That shit deep, bro. Hi, Mom. Kit, do you mind stepping outside? I need to speak with Molly and her mom. I've been studying up on her cancer. All Rosie did was some arts and crafts. I should stay. Kit, this is extremely inappropriate. I need you to leave. Hey, you're gonna do great, kiddo. Yeah? Oh, I wish my dad treated me like that, face. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Drop that. What did you do to get to stay with Molly? Be Dr. Henry's pet? I am not his pet. I am his former patient. Patient? Yeah, I have the same form of brain cancer as Molly. I'm Dr. Henry's poster child. That's why he asked me to stay. Uh, dumb bitch. I'm so sorry. L, Fortnite I dance. You. Damn, ankles. Wow, she was crying, chat. On Drake, so sad. Is this about to be like the that one video where that lady like wheeled her husband off the uh off the ramp type? Truck coon about to come through. Why are you walking like that? If it isn't bus boy. The one and only. Oh my god. My favorite doctor. I'm not a doctor. Oh, I know. I was asking about Dr. Henry. Can you guys stop flirting? <laughs> Someone scratch my knee, please. We're not. We are definitely not flirting. Hold in. I've been so worried about you. How are you? Hey, babe. Every Damn! And you know he was not trying to see her. He was trying to get with Shorty. Damn. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I know a crush when I see one. It's just like me and Marcus. Say it a little louder. <laughs> like. <laughs> I just, I like him so much. And I thought he liked me too. But I don't know. Love Is she off the morphine? <laughs> It's hard to tell if she's off the morphine or just an anime fan. <laughs> what is this show? Euphoria. <laughs> How's it going with the fresh meat? You said something to her, didn't you? I didn't say what anything the... that wasn't true. What? I hate this show, bro. I hate this. What in the world is going on in here? Your system does not work, so I made my own. Jack, we have to put it back how it was. We need to put this back. What? No way. What this is this acting? So much better. Jack, stop, please. Just go home. Let me take it from here. Whatever. Why did he do that? What happened here? Jack happened. Ugh, boys are the worst. Amen to that. You know what? We don't need boys. Yeah. When did romance ever make things easier? Uh, hey, uh, sorry to interrupt, but I'm looking for a patient. Her name is Bo. She's in room six. I'll show you. I guess not all boys are bad. What? Because, what? What? Next time on Oh, Adelaide thank God I can fucking end this stream. Look here. Look here! Look, listen! Glad to see my favorite streamer is playing another episode of Attaway General. Drake's in chat. Uh. What the? You. 
Is my day gonna get any worse? You guys know each other? He's the one that did this to me. Ow! Jack! What? 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 Jack, don't do that. Hey, give it back. No. Hey, hey. Hey, give it back. What happened? Well, a few months ago, Jack convinced me that he knew how to drive, and spoiler alert, he couldn't. He ended up crashing my dad's car into a telephone pole. I thought I could do it. Yeah, you thought you could. I'm sorry. This dude was acting all tough. This dude was acting like he was in juvie for some crazy shit. And all this nigga did was take his friend's dad's car for a joyride and crash into a telephone pole. There's just no way. Did he just take that from there? I got you flowers. Congratulations on your new baby. Really nice. For your information, I defied a mother and a newborn for these. Ha ha ha, so funny. He's so charming. I just want to say it's different with you. Oh my god, dude. Like, this is literally harassment he's doing, by the way. I want you to be my girlfriend. What did you just say? I said... <clears throat> Brucey! How long have you been there? Sorry, sorry. That was a really cute moment. Just... Did she say sorry? Yo, we really are watching Degrassi again! I gotta think about it. I need to make sure you're worth the risk. Can I help you with that? You've done enough. Pick this out of a fire hazard bin. I know I messed up, but you're still my best friend. You were the first one to check up on me when I got my appendix taken out. I just wanted an excuse. Nigga talking about an appendix removal like a gunshot wound. Nigga, you got your appendix removed. That's mad light. Is everything okay with you? Yeah, me and Don made up. All good. But like, are you okay? I can't help but feel like there's a pattern forming here. What do you mean, what pattern? Poorness. Would you stop with your little Miss Doctor impression? We're all sick of it. Just leave me alone. He's at, he actually spit. He actually fucking spit right there. Like, literally shut the fuck up. Who, Megalol? Holden, if I could give you my heart, I would. Love, Bella. Hold up, dude, he got heart issues? That was the other girl? Who, Megalol? Oh, I thought, for some reason, I thought curly-haired kid's name was Holden, but his name is Jack. This is Holden. Okay, gotcha. We're still friends, right? Of course. Best boy. Damn, see? Chat reversed the roles. She gets friend zone, and now she wants nothing to do with him. Now she acting weird, champ. You see, chat? Reverse the roles, boys. This shit is ass. Aren't they TikTokers? Why can't they at least TikTok dance? Facts. Don't make me repeat myself. We have a VIP coming into the hospital today. Is the VIP a celebrity? What are you like? <clears throat> One of you, fetch me an apple juice on ice. This is Roman Dupont and his grandfather. He said, Warren. give me an apple juice on the rocks. Well, what are you waiting for? Go, go, go. Why you talk like how I talk to Lena? Mama. I remember your loyalty. And you. What kept you? Not in the mood, kid. Your superior will hear about this. Roman. What? Your superior will hear about this. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? He can't even speak. Look, so I did some thinking. And you know what? I'll be your girlfriend. Look, Maeve was right. I'm a jerk should stay away oh my god roman's gonna be here as long as it takes for those marbles to come out if you can get him to drink this stool softener it'll expedite the process i'll give you five dollars if you drink it let's get this over with what am i gonna do with five measly dollars <laughs> code and that's my final offer look i'm sorry about will i bet he's got a fear of intimacy because of a past relationship okay psychoanalyzing shit you take a sip if I promise to sing for you whenever you'd like in the future. And I suppose a few sips could hurt. I have an announcement to make. <laughs> I need to use the facilities. I care about you too. Kit. What is happening? You don't have a girlfriend. I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yo, the hot emote is so good. Reverse the roles on me. Reverse the roles, truing. Are you okay? I think I'm having a 
the touch of a heart attack. Grandpa. <laughs> Yo, tell me. <laughs> this is me after I've eaten a whole fuck. <laughs> This is me after I've eaten an entire Domino's large pizza with some cheesy bread and took down a whole two liter bottle of Coke in one sitting. <laughs> Congratulations, you won. You know, Moss. I should have ended sooner. One more episode, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Are you okay, Rosie? You don't look too good. <laughs> it's okay, he's gonna pull through. I don't think she gives a fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Come on, friend. You have one job. Morning, bud. Here. Motherfucker, don't know how to use a coffee maker. Sorry, my head feels like mush. Giga Chad, what's just coffee? Y'all, just wait until y'all get a little bit older, man. Like once y'all get older, you're gonna realize that getting through an entire day without some amount of caffeine is fucking impossible. I right, Gramps. All right. All right, we'll see. I'd take a, a daughter with some pluck over any of my senseless kids. Not him shit talking his kids on his deathbed. Well, I could sit with you if you'd like. Hmm. I like that, Georgia. That sounds so boring. The only way I would do that is if he would allow me to also go on Twitch.tv to watch my favorite streamer, Omega Pro or Lena Lioness. We all agree. I spoke to Dr. Henry this morning. I'm going through with the surgery. Really? She would hope you die. Great. You're going to be okay. Not to mention the fact I'll be missing prom. I convinced Bella to go with my friend Kylan. Somehow I'm jealous even though I'm the one that set it up. This nigga set himself up to get cucked. There's just no shot. Oh my God. She going to get her man anyways. He did it to get with Kit. Hold on. If I can offer you a bit of a deathbed advice. Stop saying that. You just had a heart attack. Just had a heart attack. I don't know the particulars of your relationship with that little brown noser. But I do know that life is short. Too short to waste precious hours with those who don't bring you joy. He's got a W voice. I feel bad she's never been to a school dance. It sucks being sick. For sure, something we could do. Let's host our own prom. Face us. Are you plotting? I'm plotting. How could I say no to kids' first plot? <laughs> See, now, here's the thing. She's only doing this so she can get with, with that boy, bruh. You ain't slick. <laughs> Women are the selfish ones truing, bro. Okay. How does nobody know how to dance? Watch out, buddy. Don't catch a heart attack. Is this peak garbage or is this peak fiction? <laughs> Imagine you're dying and there's just a prom going on downstairs. Yeah, you're the old man and you just hear fucking TikTok music. What the? They dance so terribly. You know what I think? I think that like when they're on set, there's actually no music playing. So that's why the dancing is so awkward. Should he be dancing with a hole in his heart? Probably not. I'm glad I met you too. Please, man, end this. Yo, people paid to watch oh, this. Boy, okay. I get a shake, but I... <laughs> Pack watch. Somebody literally did die while they were having prom downstairs. Where's Mr. DuPont? <laughs> nah, they, they was like stringing together fucking little paper mache, uh, uh, paper mache chains or whatever the fuck while this nigga was dying. <laughs> he died and they getting sturdy. How could you let this happen? This is absolutely out of bounds. Doctor, it is. He is under control. Under control? Holden is having open heart surgery tomorrow and you've got him dancing around. You're such a snitch. I was just coming to the party. I didn't say anything to You're him. such a liar. <laughs> Rosie? So obvious. She's been feeling like shit. There's no way. Attaway General isn't just a show. It's a cultural reset, a reason to breathe, an escape from this cruel world filled with thieves. It's art, the first gift you open on Christmas, a hug from a loved one, everything you've ever wanted, everything you need. Brother. All right, season finale time.
This shit is louder than the weed I'm smoking. What's going on? Is Rosie okay? She has an infection in her brain. And that's causing a high fever. They had nothing to do with it. The whole thing was my idea. Don't worry yet. It's okay. Okay, but honestly though, it is gross negligence to hold like a prom party at a hospital. Like, they should all be reprimanded for this. These dumbass kids should lose their volunteership and that girl should be fired. They literally had a dude who has uh, a hole in his heart, who's about to get open heart surgery. They had him out of his wheelchair at this dance, just dancing. Like they all deserve prison time. They were trying to help people feel good. Okay, how about you make the people uh, not deathly ill? How about you fix that and then you can do your little fucking prom party? He needs good vibes, not surgery. Oh my God. You know, I just feel like once I really adopted Eastern medicine, like I just started feeling a lot more, you know, complete in my body. Once I started like really adopting the vibes and like really like manifesting health and drinking alkaline water, like things really cleared up. <laughs> Boy, if you don't. Don't be silly. There wouldn't be a problem if I some drama. Like, how come he doesn't know how to deliver lines? It just, it just feels so off. It feels so awkward. I hate it. I hate it so fucking much. I'm really scared. I'm really scared. She has a brain infection and she's smiling. She's like, I'm really scared type shit. I just wanted to say I'm sorry about the prom. Just once I thought you could rise to the occasion. Damn. It's obvious you have no respect for me. Damn. Or this hospital. Damn. I think I'm actually good at this. Well, your definition of good falls way below most standards. Oh! I am good. Patients like me, and unlike you, I can act like a normal human being outside of these walls. Patients like you. What happened to the last patient that liked you? Oh, I think he died. Dead as hell. Like dead ass. I think I think he packed up. I don't know about you. I'd rather be alive than like my doctor. Any ones in the chat? Any agreeers? I'd rather hate my fucking doctor and be alive than be like, you know what? My doctor killed me, but they were a good guy deep down. What the fuck? Dad, you're a good doctor. Everyone knows it, but you put everything you have into this hospital. And at the end of the day, you have nothing left. Dad, you're a great doctor. Some say the best, but you put everything you have into saving other people's lives. And that makes you bad. <laughs> like what i don't know about y'all I'll, I'll be happy if this dude was my doctor i don't give a fuck what his wife divorced him because he's a doctor his daughter hates him i don't give a fuck i'm alive give me that triple bypass i'm trying to lose my titties you barely even acknowledge me i've got my eye on you that's why i stepped in with will look he's a promising student but he isn't mature in so many other ways georgia you did that no. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I just thought it was best based on what I knew. Your mom was so much better. She's intuitive. She's generous. Not that generous, or she wouldn't have left. No, that's on me. Okay? I know that. I'm sorry. I'm Like, I'm just conf Am I supposed to have sympathy for her? Like, do any of y'all have sympathy for her, genuinely speaking? I'm trying. Trying's not good enough. Okay. You know, when I was her age, chat, when I was her age, I was eating green beans out the can for dinner. If I even had dinner, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? When I was her age, I had landlord knocking on my door talking about like, damn, like, where's the rent? Y'all two months behind. So, you know what I'm saying? She got she got a Porsche at 16. Like, we not we not the same. What happened with Dr. Henry? Jack told me. Don't worry about that right now. Not her crying. What they decide, you've inspired me. If you can face adversity with that much courage, I can face whatever. Okay. There's nothing in that box. I know that he told you to leave me alone, and I know that you listen. I wish I didn't. Me too. Why are you mad at him? I'm sorry. Listen, this is his career, and a big doctor at that hospital gave him specific instructions. Yeah, he's going to listen to that doctor and be like, oh, bet. There's hella other girls I could be with. Let me not fuck with his, let me not fuck around with his daughter. So that way he can give me a recommendation and I could, I don't know, become a doctor and like have a secure future. Bro, like they kissed once in like uh in, in the back rooms type beat. Like get over it. Yeah, I heard about Rosie. I'm sorry. Why'd I put a hairnet on him? How are you doing? 
How are you holding up? Get it because his name is Holden. Sorry, I make bad jokes when I'm terrified. Are you in trouble? It doesn't matter. Right now, I'd give it up in a second to ensure you a good outcome. Girl, get it together. He does not want you. And you shouldn't stop doing this. You think I'm good? No, but this is your dream and you're getting better every day. Bro, you acting like she out here saving lives or some shit. Like literally her job is to come in here and be like, oh, hi, patient. Here, have some food, eat. Like they not doing, what do they have? What do you like? You know what I mean? Like, what are they doing? She saved his life. Oh, do you mean when she saw this dude like sitting in the chair you know, waiting for a doctor or whatever the fuck and she left and then he collapsed immediately afterwards? Is that is that what you classify as saving her, his life? Or do you mean when uh, when she found out he had a hole in his heart? So she thought it was a great idea to bring this nigga on the dance floor, on the dance floor while this motherfucker got his heart ripped up into pieces, quite literally. Hey, I wanted to tell you something. Yeah. See, she's still salty about it. Like, reverse the roles, truing, boys. Reverse the roles. And how do you feel? Like, come on, get the fuck over it, lady. He been said he don't want you. He does not want you. Wait, is one of them gonna die and one of them is gonna live? That'd be Pog. That's how that's what how it would go in house. There's no way Shorty got ripped jeans while working at a hospital. <laughs> Yo, imagine you in the hospital awaiting surgery and one of the fucking nurses or whatever the fuck tending to you got distressed jeans on. I'm gonna be like, bitch, my immune system is distressed. You need to get the fuck away from me. Thought you guys could use some of Franklin's finest. I hate his voice. I hate his voice. On the bright side, if we get kicked out, we won't have to deal with it anymore. Good point. Don't say that. You guys can't need me. You're alone with family. <laughs> what? What was that laugh? Did y'all hear his laugh? <laughs> Bro, hit him with a. <laughs> Any news so far? No, but none is as good news. I think. Copium. It's gonna be fine. Oh, but your guys, yeah, your friend's dead. <laughs> if you're willing to shoot me in the chat, press a one. If you're will if you're willing to execute me, press one in the fucking chat. Please, for the love of God, I'm DMing you my address. There's just no way. How are y'all TikTok stars and you can't dance? What, what, what is this flashback? What is this? Well, I'm, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> what? Is it Rosie? We don't know yet. But the board is ready for you in Georgia. Oh shit. Praying on the pack watch, boys. Any prages in chat? That's how they end it, boys! That's how they end it, boys! Ah, oh, say it ain't so, it ain't no way. Damn, that's season one of Attaway General. Now, here's the thing. Should I watch season two?